You know we gotta talk about the Modern Warfare multiplayer reveal. I am beyond excited for this game, but we can still laugh at how they say the same things every year. Boots on the ground make all new legitimate uh, military shooter. Pre-order. 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 Pre-order now. Comes with night vision goggles! Enough fooling around. Everyone who went to the event is gonna have tons of info and gameplay. I'm just gonna focus on what I think was the coolest. The show began with the full trailer showing off tons of streaks, the focus on night vision, the doors, the doors, functionality for doors, it's just a door, the noob tubes even, I can't wait to see if I can shoot the javelin inside, that should be hilarious, and it ended with the big nuke tease, September 12th beta, there will be crossplay in the beta, but first on PS4 of course, there's a reason my PS4 is still set up, might have to get another bit of PS Plus again to jump in on that, I want that shirt by the way. They moved on to talk about the realistic environments, not three-lane arcade-style map design. This was mentioned in an interview previously as well, but my god, what came out of this dude's mouth was exactly what I have been saying for years now. The titles have been more kind of uh, um, arena shooter-ish, mm -hmm. so you can kind of rely on these kind of symmetrical three-lane maps, but when we're trying to make a realistic environment, and you take that realistic environment and you put it on the symmetrical layout, the brain just kind of rejects it. It doesn't really feel real. So for us, um, it's more about freestanding buildings okay. kind of, um, and the power positions that those create. Um, and this actually uh, kind of is very similar to how real military moves through places. I was starting to doubt if anybody gave a shit about it but me, but apparently it is something they wanted to try going back to, and I'm glad they're giving it a try. Some people will call the maps clusterfucky and compare it to ghosts, I'm sure, but I think it is a big thing that people liked about older Modern Warfare games, even if they didn't know it. The freedom to go anywhere, explore, find jump spots and lines of sight on every map, it's a way of increasing the skill ceiling through map knowledge, not just through gun skill. They even mentioned the existence of intentional parkour puzzles to access special areas, cutting out invisible walls. If it looks like you can jump somewhere, you probably can, and that's going to be a big hell yeah from me. Then there's been tons of talk about the no minimap without UAV, now ultra mega confirmed. It's not something I'm particularly upset or excited about. I would prefer having a map in the casual modes, I think it helps with a more aggressive playstyle, but I can get on board with the idea of no map for the more competitive stuff, where it's expected that you're gonna be listening for sounds and your team's gonna be communicating, but that just doesn't happen in pubs. And yet, I saw talk about how there will be a map by default in competitive, which seems ass backwards to me. I don't know what's up with that, what the reasoning is. I think competitive should play similarly to the base game. Why would that be different? One of the big issues for some people is the teammate awareness part of the minimap, knowing where your team is so you can predict spawns and enemy locations. Thankfully, you don't have to worry about that. They said it was broken in this build, but that system will be in the beta and coming to the game where you can see teammates through walls. Anyway, I'm willing to try no map. Hopefully the recon streaks don't become too crutch. In a similar vein, I'll mention that health regen is automatic, that's a hot button issue for some people. There is a stim shot type of thing to heal yourself faster, but it doesn't sound like it'll be a crutch. Next cool topic, ballistics coming back, a big focus on realism in that department. They mentioned how it'll still have that tight COD feel at close range, but that all weapons are using projectiles that correspond to real life muzzle velocity values. It will depend on caliber, grain, barrel, using real life formulas in most cases, except for some adjustments for balancing reasons, but that will have an effect on everything. The kinetic energy drop off over range will affect how well something can penetrate a surface, for example. So that's pretty neat. They dove into create a class. Pick 10 is no more. Some people probably not gonna like the sound of that. I do think pick 10 is a good system, but I'm fine with going back and forth, not having the same thing every year. A back to basics in terms of class is alright, because they really went crazy funneling the complexity into the weapons and the gunsmith stuff with the absurd amount of attachments on every gun. You've probably heard the 30 to 60 number they throw out there per gun. To illustrate how much you could do with it, they used the 
the example of the AK by changing the caliber, throwing on a different mag, a stock, a barrel, you could end up with something more like a 74U or more like an RPD. Very cool level of weapon customization. I love the theme of freedom everywhere, from the more open map design to the weapon sandbox, putting any attachment on any gun, even if it's a bad idea, they aren't going to hold your hand and say, don't put a high power scope on that shotgun. If you want to, go for it. And allowing for goofy killstreak equipment combinations. I might even make a different video to talk about killstreaks and perks, because I'm really into this, I don't know. But they mentioned how you can stick C4 to recon drones, giving me big home front memories. Anyone play that thing seven years ago? Discovering stuff like that is a big part of what's fun about a game, I think. I'm glad they're embracing it instead of locking everything down. That always felt like a weird, no fun allowed approach to me when everything felt so restricted to what you're supposed to do. Then they got really into doors. I kind of want to talk about the doors a little bit. Doors. Doors. The doors within Modern Warfare. We put doors in. Open a door. Melee the door. Just open doors. Placker the door open. Sprint through doors. We have doors. Double door. Open the doors. It keeps coming up. They're very excited about their doors. Feels like it's the new fish AI. But it does have more of a gameplay impact, I will admit. And it does sound neat. You can peek through doors, breach with explosives, sprint through doors. Plenty of options to interact with doors however you like. When it comes to the scope of some of the game modes, they mentioned a wide range of things with differently sized maps to accommodate them. We know about the 2v2 gunfight, the 6v6, 10v10, 20v20, and mentioned a ground war that supports more than 100 players. And that's just the beginning, they've said. My concern about that is that if they have small maps for gunfight and huge maps designed for the 20v20 ground war stuff, there might not be too many maps for each mode. What I mean by that is imagine they have five little gunfight maps, eight medium maps, and four massive ones. That's 17 total, a very respectable number of maps to have at launch, with more free maps being added as we go. But if you only ever like to play 6v6, you're only playing eight of them. That was a thing people complained about all the time in World War II, where there were nine MP maps and three war operations. Twelve maps is a reasonable number considering how big the war operations were, but some people never played war, so nine didn't feel like a lot to them. I don't know where I'm going with this criticism, just throwing that thought out there. I assume there won't be an official big battle royale mode that they've poured tons of dev time into. It feels like leaks have gone back and forth on that. But with big maps that support 100 players, it seems like it'd be easy to turn on gear spawns like they showed in the 2v2 gunfight a while back, like old school free for all type of mode with weapon spawning, and have a very basic battle royale type of thing that isn't separate from multiplayer. I could see them doing that as part of an event, like a limited time mode or a party mode. We'll just have to wait and see. I think that's everything that really stuck out to me from the reveal. Finally, I gotta say it every time, why I'm excited for this game, because there will always be people saying, how the hell can you want to play a COD game after all these years? COD points, supply drops, they mess it up every time, a couple months in they pull some nonsense. Are you that dumb and caught up in the hype to think this time will be any different? And yes, I may be very dumb, but that aside, I'm not buying the game because of that or because I'm caught up in hype. I'm not counting on things being different this time. We can hope that the MTX won't be fucked and we can continue to pressure them to make it better, but I'm not blindly believing it'll turn out perfect. That said, some things we already know are great signs, like the lack of a season pass. The splitting of the community through exclusive map pools has always been the biggest negative impact on gameplay for me. If they're keeping people playing with with free seasonal content updates, that's amazing. Much bigger deal than something like even the RNG guns problem. And they can sell all the overpriced cosmetics they want, I don't care at all. But the fact remains, despite the bullshit there has been in previous years, I get my money's worth every time. I've never bought COD points, never felt like I needed to. I'll be getting the base version of Modern Warfare. COD is pretty universally mocked, but there is a lot of content in these games. I easily put in hundreds of hours every year. Love the journey, love making the videos, and I'm more excited this year than I ever have been because of the modern theme, many of the features we've seen, and because I'll be able to devote more time to it than I ever could in previous years. So if you regretted buying BO4, yeah, maybe 
maybe skip this one. That's fair enough. Don't get caught up in COD hype if you find yourself being disappointed every year. But I've enjoyed it every year. Even though I'm very done with BO4 now, I double hundred percented the bitch. I had my fun. So I remain excited as hell for Modern Warfare. If you're not looking forward to it, I'm not going to sell you on it. But I hope you're excited as well so we can all embark on this journey together and absolutely destroy this game come October. You already know I'm earning everything there is to earn. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.